Welcome to part two of our video making course with Windows Live Movie Maker. Uh, what, we've learned, what we learned in part one was that you really need to get your graphics organized in advance. So get your music together, get your pictures together, delete the dead ones, delete the dupes, uh, crop, and uh, change the brightness of ones that are screwed up, fix them. Um, and uh, in part two we will actually get into creating a video. So. If once you've got Live Messenger, or sorry, Live Movie Maker installed, you should launch it. You can tell you that you've got version 2011 or newer because you have the Auto Theme section. Also, if you go to the File menu and you click Options, you will see that it is at least version 2011. If you see anything older than that, it's not right. You need to go, uh, as I said, in version one to, or sorry, in part one of our course to download.live.com and pull down the new video. Uh, making tools. So uh, this is the uh, main tool we're going to spend the rest of our time on and if you uh, click here to browse for pictures and video you can snap in whatever you want. Uh, I don't want to do that because it's a little tedious. I much prefer to simply go to my graphics uh, and I'm going to control A to select them all. But you could do it any way you want. You could pull them in one by one uh, but uh, I'm going to do them all at once. I'm just going to drag them in and drop them and it will take a few seconds and they will all just populate which is really nice. Now what I'm going to do is familiarize myself with this interface and there's a number of things to know. The first is the little zoom bar down here is not uh, does not make graphics larger. What this does is change the time. Uh, so what it does is if you've got a, a one minute video see you down at the bottom here I know there's some videos here we go. If I zoom this a little bit these videos will get longer now in fact the video is not getting any longer, it's just the way it's displayed here which lets you be more granular in how you're editing it. If you don't follow that, that's okay. You don't have to understand that for now. You'll, it'll make more sense later. Most people will simply leave it somewhere around here, about uh, what 40%. If you wish to change the size of these thumbnails, that's easy enough to do. You click the change thumbnail size and just change it for instance to extra large icons and then it's uh, quite easy to work with. So that's one uh, thing. I'm going to put it back to medium because I, I know most of these slides now so I'm okay. I'm going to maximize this as well so I have more space uh, to work with. Uh, there's this bar as well. It lets you uh, slide back and forth. Early in the editing process, you probably want to make it like this so that you can move your graphics around, which I'm going to show you in a second. Later in the video editing process, when you're trying to you know, see what's going on, you probably want to scroll it back more like this. Anyway, we're at the start, so I'm going to put it here. Uh, next thing to do is to realize that you can move these graphics around. Now these are these pictures around. Now these pictures are not in any particular order. They were they came from different sources. They have different times, uh, so it's a bit of a mess. So I need to resort these. So I can simply pick up a picture, and uh, I want to do uh, this picture right here, and I want to move it to the start. And um, there we go. Now it's at the start. I can move it around quite easily, um, but I'll just drop it at the start here. Now I've also decided that I want to add some uh, graphics to this for the for a particular company that this video is being made for, or for uh, you know something that provides more context, uh, you know, as to where this event was taking place. So I'm going to go to I'm going to make this smaller again. I'm going to go to my uh, folder that I had prepped in advance, and I'm going to take these graphics, which are corporate graphics uh, for Lake Louise and for Arcus Corporation. I'm going to drop them up here. And uh, now I actually want the Arcus logo because this is, this is for Arcus. I'm going to take this. I'm going to scroll it right to the very bottom. Click on the last thing. And I'm going to drop the Arcus logo at the end as well because I want it at the end as well as at the start. Uh, then I'm going to go back to the top and let's just start moving stuff around. So I'm going to, uh, this is about the right order. This one, however, I want to come in a little later. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause and I'm going to reshuffle all of these just by again dragging them around. And um, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so now I have these sorted roughly the way I want them. And I want to point out a couple more things. Anything you do in this software will not affect the original source document. So if I delete a graphic from here, which I'm going to do right now, between that one and that one, I'm going to take that one. And I'm going to press the delete key on my keyboard, and it's gone. Uh, that one's okay. That one's uh, sort of a duplicate, so I'm going to right-click on it and select Delete or Remove. Um, remove is actually a better word. That's really what you're doing. So, um, yeah, uh, this one's kind of pointless. I'm just going to get rid of it. Uh, once again, I'll just click, use my keyboard and delete it. Um, 
Yeah, so there we go. So I can move them around yet again, if I, if I so choose. I can right click on them, I can delete them. Uh, something to notice here is the context menus at the top. If when I click on a graphic or a picture, I have this set of tools. If I click on a video, I have a different set of tools. See how this changes? And that'll be particularly meaningful, particularly meaningful as we go further ahead with this. Uh, what else can we show you here? When you go into a, uh, when you go into these projects, one of the things people want to do quickly is add music to it. Do not add music until the very end. And the reason is, you won't get this right the first time because nobody does. And when you crop and edit your mo your sound, which would be music, uh, uh, it will not stretch with your video content. And what that means is that, say I've got a, you know, say I've got this video, this, uh, this, these set of stills, and I decide later that, no, I don't want to use this picture, so I delete it. Well, now my, my, the audio that I had uh, set up for this is now at the wrong length, because I just got rid of seven seconds. Now, one thing to note, which this provides a nice demonstration for, is I can press Control Z on my keyboard, and I can undo it. Uh, so all of the keyboard shortcuts work. Copy, paste, you know, Control C, Control V, Control Z for undo, those kinds of things. Okay, so let's move on. Now, uh, what you should do is, about the time you think you've got your video ready, you should uh, take a quick uh, preview through it. So what you do is go over here and press the play button, which I've just done. And you can see here that, geez, this really takes a lot of time. These are all quite lengthy. I don't think I want to deal with that. So what I'm going to do, I don't think I want these slides to be seven seconds long. And if, in case you're wondering how I knew they were seven seconds long, that's the default, firstly. And secondly, it says so right here. So no mystery. Now, uh, what I can do, I want to make all of these slides a little shorter. So I'm going to click on any of them. Any, it doesn't make a difference which one. Press Control A, which will select them all. You can see that there's a little blue frame around them now. And I'm going to say I want this to be uh, five seconds. Just make them go a little faster. Okay, you can see down here my total time is now 7 minutes and, and uh, 50 seconds. If I do this again, I'm going to control A and I set this to, um, what do we want to set it to? Let's set it to 8 seconds. So I'll go here and I'll press 8. My total time will change. There, now it's 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Now remember, YouTube has a limit of 15 minutes. They used to have 10, they've now changed it to 15 as of August uh, 2010. So. You want to make sure you're keeping this time down. Okay, so before you go any further, you should preview this. I'm, I've already done that, so uh, we're going to move on. Uh, so let's go now to Auto Movie. So Auto Movie, well, let's, before we get to Auto Movie, let me show you how this works. I can go in to this graphic, and I can say, well, let's pick a different graphic. I'm going to go to this graphic, and I'm going to say I want it to be animated. I want a transition to do that. Boy, I hate that transition, by the way. So let's use something... I don't like that much either, but let's use that. And I want it to be animated. I want that slide to spin in. And I'm going to go to this slide, and I want it to have um, that transition, which is also a terrible transition, by the way, I think. It looks very old and cheesy. And I want it to uh, go to the top, uh, yeah, we'll go here. Go to, uh, go to the bottom right-hand corner. And you might be thinking to yourself, geez, I really don't know what the guy did. Let's just watch this. Start, move my um, time bar over here. I'm going to click play and just watch what happens. Okay, so you remember I told it to rotate and I told it to fade in. Well, there we go. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Now, the problem with this is I might have 200 slides. This could be a lot of work. Now, you could control, you could use, you could press control A and select them all and then make changes, but then all of them have the same transitions, the same animations. That's not much fun. So, Microsoft came up with Auto Movie, which does all of that for you. Um, there's a lot of them that Microsoft provides. Uh, this is one, uh, which is cinematic. That's probably the best one they've got, the most complex. It adds some really neat features to the um, uh, credits. Uh, but for me, for this one, I've, I've used the, the cinematic one too many times right now, so I've got to do something else. I'm going to choose this one, which is Pan and Zoom. And so I'm going to click on that. And now it's saying, hey, do you want to add music? And I'm going to say no, because I'm not ready yet. So I'm going to click no. And uh, there's a few things that happened. One, it added a slide at the front. I don't want the slide at the front. So I'm going to slide this caption over that it automatically added for me. I'm going to click on the slide and select delete. 
I'm going to go to the end and look at what else it added, and you can see it added a bunch of other stuff I also don't want. So I'm going to click on the slide, press delete. It'll take whatever caption it added with it. See the caption at the bottom here, which I'm going to go over in a second. Delete, delete. I don't want those captions. So let's go back to the top. Now, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to slide this caption over so that it shows up at this particular time. And I'm going to double click on it. And you'll notice at the top I get text tools. And uh, that text tool is great, except it's in the wrong place. I'm going to move this down. Uh, I'm going to highlight all the text. I'm going to change it from white to black because, you know, white on white is not much fun. Uh, and I'm going to change this to February because that's the easiest way to spell it. 2011, which is what it was. And I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to move it down a little bit further, a little over maybe. And you'll notice that there are these animations uh, to have this fade in and fade out or zoom in and zoom out. And you'll notice, by the way, I'm just mousing over them and I'm seeing the different versions. There's a lot of them, and I mean a lot. So um, probably the neatest one is this one. Um, but uh, for the minute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, I'm going to get back out of this, and I'm going to choose this one. We'll just have it fade in. Uh, swing in from the top and then swing back out. I'm going to press play and just let's just see what happens here. So that fades in and it will fade out in a few seconds. Now what's wrong with this is it's really too long. I need to make this shorter. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to double click on it and it's going to take me to, to uh, the text duration and I don't want that to be seven seconds. I want this to be more like uh, four seconds and you'll see the bar will get shorter here. Watch. Press enter. There it is. Another thing, I don't want any ma any animation on this home slide, on this first slide. So I'm going to click home, uh, select the slide, sorry, animations, and I'm going to select, uh, I don't want anything really to happen with this, um, any animation at all. So I'm going to have it stop. I don't mind it blending in from the start, but that's it. There, now that looks a lot more professional. There we go. Isn't that nice? Yay. Okay, now uh, looking through this, what I should do at this point is add a few more captions in, which I'm going to do. So one of our friends got hurt. So that's always funny. So I'm going to go to caption. Uh, but before I click caption, I'm going to select the area I want to put the caption on, which was right here. This is where he got hurt. So I'm going to go to caption, and I'm going to write in here. Uh, let's see here. What am I going to write? Let's write um, Joseph. Let's go back here. Joseph falls down, Joseph goes boom. Okay, and yet again I'm going to choose bold and I want it to do the same uh, fade in and fade out. And it's got a, that's a right, about the right length of time. Uh, then around here it actually turned out it was pretty serious. So I'm going to add another caption here that says, okay, Joseph, geez, you can't seem to type. Um, actually got hurt. Let's watch, ooh my goodness, can't seem to type, the ski patrol take him down, uh, it wasn't the mountain, it was we, it wasn't we wiki, oh my goodness, I'm going to say we wiki because I can't remember the name of it, but um, I'll just call it the hill. Uh, down the mountain on, I guess, in a toboggan. Very nice, huh? And once again, I'm going to select bold because it's not really, you know, the size I want. I'm going to move it. I could put this anywhere on the screen. I can move it up and around. But down here is nice and dark, so the lettering shows up okay. I'm going to fix the, fix that. And once again, I'm going to have it, you know, fade in and fade out. Um, well, that's a little short. No, that's good. That's, um, we'll leave that up for seven seconds. That's fine. Now you notice this time duration at the bottom, I was playing with it, see this? See it's getting larger and smaller? Not duration, I shouldn't call it that, but time zoom is really what this is. Okay, now uh, a couple of things. One, uh, what I should do at this point is I should stop and I should uh, watch the entire video. I should take the my little time pointer back here, either this one, either this time bar or the time dot here and press play and just watch the whole thing and, and see what mistakes I've made, because believe me, I've made some mistakes. 
Uh, however, I've already noticed that I made one, uh, which by the way was planned, which is this one. Th this graphic here is not rotated and I need to adjust that. So I'm going to go here and select rotate right and boom, now Thane is up and he's much happier because he was getting dizzy being sideways. Okay, um, I'm going to take a break here, make a couple of other quick changes and then I'll be right back.